next bit is uh, designed to help you understand what it means to generate energy on site. Uh, so as we're using the energy, it's also useful and interesting to know how much you could generate uh, if you had, say, a photovoltaic array. And this is a very quick and easy way of uh, getting a first, first pass. And I'll show you how to do this. Um, what it's asking for is the annual horizontal solar radiation and it says reference the solar radiation sheet. So go down here to solar radiation and you see a map of the world. And again, this is a very uh, gross estimate, but this map of the world is color coded by annual global horizontal irradiation, which you see up here. What global horizontal irradiation is is um, the amount of solar radiation in kilowatt hours that falls onto a horizontal plane that's one square meter by one square meter, one square meter in area. And so, for instance, if you take here where we are in California, you can see it's kind of orangey yellow. Let me zoom in there. Orangey yellow. And then if you zoom back out to our chart, orangey yellow is somewhere around 1600 kilowatt hours per square meter, right around there. Um, if you're in Northern Europe, it's green, so that's probably more like 1100 kilowatt hours per square meter. If you're in um, Northern Australia, this looks like closer to 2200 kilowatt hours per square meter, et cetera, et cetera. So, Take a, a guess, your best guess, based on where your case study is. I'm going to go ahead and use 1600 kilowatt hours per square meter. And then come back to the energy model template and enter that number in here. And this will automatically generate for you, using a formula, the potential electricity generation for a photovoltaic panel that's horizontal. Um, and you can see actually from the formula here, this is a very simple formula. It just takes 1600 multiplies by 15%, which is a basic rule of thumb for how much electricity a photovoltaic panel can, can generate in AC, alternating current. And we'll talk more about photovoltaics later in the semester, and we'll, I'll show you a much uh, more complex and accurate way of, of doing this. And then this final category here explains um, the, the photovoltaic panels. So this is taking the um, annual energy use there and dividing by the annual horizontal PV generation and then dividing by the annual, the uh, area of the zone. And what this is giving you is a ratio of, click here, it's a ratio of how much um, PV area you would need in order to offset the energy use of your zone. In this case, I would need half of the area of my zone in PV. So this means that if I had a two-story building, I could effectively get a zero net energy building uh, because I'd have, um, well, actually, this is just a little bit over, because if you add these, it turns out to be 0.61. So I wouldn't be able to get a zero net energy building with a two-story building. Uh, if it were a one-story building, uh, and the, the PVs were just on the roof, horizontal, as we, we discussed before, then uh, those PVs would take up 61% of the roof. Um, if you have any questions about that, bring those questions to class and we can talk about it more then.